Hello everybody and welcome back to another Weathering Waves video. Today we have a developer's discussion on the current changes that they're going to be making for the version 1.1 which is coming in a few weeks. And I'm very excited because of course we always love to see when the devs are telling us that hey we're going to be fixing things and also here's some content to look forward to while you're waiting. And always this is always such a good thing. Developers communicating and telling you things that are going to be coming ahead of time is super duper exciting. So let out of the way, leave a like and subscribe and let's get right into it. Number one, the new ecosystem or the new tuner synthesis feature I should say basically you guys know how when you want to tune echoes you want to give them your subsets your crit rate your crit damage you know etc you have to use these little tuners right but the thing is is that they're based on rarity right you have the blue ones the purple ones and of course the gold ones which is the one that you actually care about because five stars are always better but four stars and three stars well they've been piling up in your inventory and now you're going to be able to convert them into gold ones right and this is super good you know not only uh you know take lower tier loot and then put it into higher tier loot always a good thing so that's super duper good you'll be able to do all that next up we have increased union exp reward for unlocking new echo entries to the level of experience and unlocking late game content earlier all players will have an in introduce a unit exp reward for unlocking new entries as echoes as a version 1.1 additionally we will retrospectively reward unit exp for the number of echoes you have unlocked during version 1.0 after the update and the compensation you have distributed via the mail make sure to check it out so yes basically you're going to be able to level up your data bank a little bit faster and that makes you know uh, it makes it makes sense right uh game or not data bank i'm sorry you're going to be able to level up your account a little bit faster and then you're going to get if anyone already you know leveled up your data bank all the way to the top then you're just going to get the compensation exp in the mail super good uh you know makes uh exploring even more worth it uh you know outside of just grinding for chests so that's super nice now this is interesting we're definitely going to take a closer look at this one higher cost of range for echoes reward for activity points we've heard your feedback about high variability of cost range uh you know uh cost range for echo rewards by required activity points to the guideline to bring experience we've removed the one cost echoes from the activity points reward pool and now three and four cost echoes will be reward for activity points so you don't understand what this means basically uh when you do your dailies right your commissions your you know your stuff that you got to do for your daily training like an hsr uh instead uh it would always reward you uh with at least one echo uh right and this pool is really big it used to be one and threes only now it's gonna be three and four cost echoes uh to make it easier on yourself and i actually got a pretty good one today uh you know i got a havoc uh on set uh dread main so that's super duper nice after version 1.1 once you accumulate 100 activity points like completing the guidebook task you'll receive uh yeah okay so that's the same thing cool awesome that's really nice uh data bank level cap raise Ooh, okay uh, after the version 1.1 update, the level cap of your data ping will be raised uh, to level 21. After reducing level 21, all echoes uh, drop will be the guaranteed five star rarity. Oh, okay. So I guess they, I guess they didn't want to keep it as is. Uh, you know, making it so that uh, echoes require a little bit more. Uh, you know, a little bit of an RNG aspect. I guess people are being tired of it. I don't know. It seems a little too nice. I don't know. I, I guess it's okay uh because obviously it'll make the grind uh you know a lot more rewarding uh and of course you'll need to get there i guess that's okay though i don't know i think i'm kind of like 50 50 on that sometimes i feel like the qlo changes come a little uh or you know like uh, not necessarily qlo but like system changes come a little too quick uh because of you know just rng aspects and people being tired uh, uh you know those things i i definitely don't like getting a four star right but at the same time you know i feel like you maybe could have worked with the pity system a little more uh it i think it makes sense that bosses should drop uh, you know echoes more consistently but then like smaller mobs you know i feel like you could have added some sort of pity system to that i'm kind of 50 50 on that one anyway new content in the 1.1 version for the mount firmament get ready for some fun and select areas you can now transform into the echo clang bang and explore the area stay tuned for more puzzles oh boy what is this the little ice cube man that's cute okay i like that i'm always very interested in the echo system right because uh you can do so much with your gameplay right especially with the fact that you can transform uh you know and this is where they're first taking it to their first step so it looks like you can break through walls uh with this guy so that's super awesome other optimization uh, uh task and field animation we talked about this last time we don't want to talk about it again uh lower shell credit cross talked about it last time uh simplified the cruise wing challenge okay so the cruise wing challenge is basically uh it's a little thing uh you know you can find the overworld and you turn into the cruise wing you can fly around through hoops and honestly um the only problem i have with it is that sometimes one it became bugged where you couldn't collect the coins and two uh you know on it like sometimes it would be too laggy uh where you wouldn't actually you couldn't actually tell if the coins are being collected uh they're making it easier which i mean i guess i think it i think it was fine enough you didn't really need to go too too far with it and that's okay okay moving on to the next section events and other rewards 
So depths of illusion realm. Ooh, this is good. Okay. So let's see. So they're going to be uh, making, let's see here in version 1.1 1 .1, we'll be introducing a new uh, elusive realm called dreams of blaze in the darkness along with new mechanics such as token symphony rank and other and different mimetic tunings available to create your own powerful build furthermore in the total event rewards will be creating to a thousand asteroids whoa okay that's really big okay so if you don't know this is sort of uh you know the elysian realm uh equivalent in hi3 uh, a little bit of a solo mode uh, and you know they're gonna rotate it out kind of more akin to hsr uh how they do with pure fiction uh they kind of rotate out themes every single time uh you know and that's kind of how it works so that's cool uh they're doing it here uh looks like they're gonna do some new mechanics and we can't really know what these things are right uh you know these are new things that they're gonna just trying but so hopefully uh just new content good to see that it's actually uh existing there and then a thousand asteroids are worth i mean that's good uh, i don't know what the original was but it definitely was not a thousand so hey that's awesome uh, new exploration in the Mount Firmament. Okay, cool. Uh, to help you experience a new area, we explored uh, two exclusive areas for you. Um, uh, oh, an event. Okay, uh, Tales from the Firmament, uh, photo collection event, and Traces of Mount Firmament. Complete these events for Andrew Asteroids, and you get all the materials. Okay, cool. So, yeah, just events to help the new area. That's pretty normal. Also very standard. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of these because uh, I think there should always be just exploration-based events about uh you know what's already going on in the game there's no need to make some other uh arbitrary event you know instead here we go all right next up increased convene items exchange version limited exchange oscillated cool shore as of version 1.1 you may redeem seven of each of the following convene items rain tides forging tides and luster tides in each installment of the store wow okay that's uh that's uh kind of crazy what the heck uh so yes the coral exchange is basically uh, you know, the thing when you go ahead and, you know, pull for your characters, you uh, get, receive a little bit of currency that you can use, uh, you know, in the shop for some EXP, uh, sometimes some pulls, you know, and some other stuff. It's nice. But now they're increasing it all the way to seven. It used to be six. So one more pull. I mean, that's awesome. Also, pretty decent incentivization uh, for people, you know, who like to whale uh, a little bit, right? You know, it's not really something you consider, uh, right? Or like, you know, really want to think about because most people think about the free to play players it makes sense it's the highest uh you know piece of players in the game but if you're someone who spends you know even like you know maybe a little bit of money on the game uh this is a pretty uh pretty good thing you get more free pulls uh you know based off of you know you actually pulling this stuff so hey that's decent uh all right preview of other special events besides optimization da -da -da -da, uh your seven day logins gives the celestial light featured in the commission event lolo campaign and the featured common and attack of the simicra and the leveling material drop after sound abundance and the echo doubling drop cord cleansing and so on stay tuned for official announcement when we're in details okay wow uh so we're getting a shit ton of stuff here so we're getting the seven day login which is going to be this and then a sort of commission style event so it's probably going to be similar to uh the one that we have the uh second return of solaris uh, where you just complete a uh, really basic task for uh the people and then you know you get uh primo gems for it or just like asteroid for it right uh combat event makes sense uh double material drop event makes sense and then uh double echo drop event makes sense too okay that's super cool ah now we're on to the good stuff my friends map exploration systems new mount firmament layered map due to the complexity of version 1.1's new uh map we've added a layered map feature to help you better explore it you can switch between different layers on the map in a more detailed exploration or guidance and here we go yeah so you can see it so mount firmament obviously big old mountain uh you know and they're gonna have a layered uh map and you can click and see uh where hey uh this teleport waypoint is actually lower uh than you know where this one is right and that's super cool and also and this is the big one uh you know actually having the layered button here so you can just click and see uh where the thing is and they're also you know this is something i really really like and i want to quickly uh, take highlight on this Due to the volume of work involved in creating layered map in all areas, the layered map for other areas in Jinzo will really lay some future versions. Now, this was something that was missing uh, from 1.0. I'm sure the devs were very acutely aware, uh, considering that, you know, a lot of the games, you know, especially their competitors, right? Genshin Impact and HSR have added these features. It took Genshin a while. Uh, they had it on, you know, Hoyo Lab for, you know, a good amount of time, but that's very silly. Uh, you know, these things should be in the game and not, uh, you know, somewhere else. So then, yeah, they said they snapped to it immediately. Work on it, work on it, work on it, right? And, you know, it's really good that I think that they tell you, hey, we know it doesn't exist in the main map. We're going to work on it. Give us time. Right. And like there are a lot of things that the, you know, the game still needs to work on. It's perfectly OK. Uh, you know, I really much prefer this level of communication, you know, instead of just saying, oh, you know, nothing at all or like it'll happen eventually. Right. 
you know it's good to it's good to let you know your people know right or your player base know that hey uh you know this thing will be worked on just be patient right and that's why like you know when i see this like you know hey i'll be patient with the devs like you know like i'm willing to wait like months until like that thing comes out right obviously it'll suck you know i hope it's not the case that we have to wait so for a long time but like this is good you know it's always good to actually have communication with your community and your players telling them that hey stuff will happen just like you know like don't don't leave them like in the dark like you know features like these that have like zero parity across the game all right anyway back onto it new area quest progress oh my god this one i'm excited for after version 1.1 update you'll be able to track your progress on exploration quests and and visit uh on the current area via the map exploration progress so what this means is that you can easily just track hey uh you have a quest here that you haven't done well here you go uh i can just easily uh click and pick it uh from uh, my map and that's super duper nice because there's gonna be a lot of tiny little quests right like when the forest is no longer dim is a world quest right that makes a ton of sense and you're always gonna see it uh because it's a really big and important quest but the thing is is that there's a bunch of these smaller quests right like no response tonight uh you know where it's like bro where the frick am i gonna find this or shooting party i just did that the other day uh that it's really hard to actually find these quests uh you know because they're kind of hidden uh beneath the surface or you have to walk up and find uh you know the right trigger conditions so it's really cool that you know you're going to be able to see these things and be like hey i haven't completed a quest there i can get some exp let's go there this is such a good feature and i wish it was in other games so that awesome feature honestly all right expanded detection range for the loop mapper oh this is easy uh hey we're gonna make the you know the compass bigger I feel like you didn't need this bro <laughs> the loot mapper is already so strong you know i feel like you don't need this right it's very unnecessary i feel like this is more of like a people are like where i want i want you know bigger loot mapper this feels unnecessary to me like you know it's good that it happens but like i feel like sometimes sometimes you have to struggle a little bit i feel like this is unnecessary all right quest and gallery system uh after the version 1.1 update you can check all resonators you've unlocked in their unlock time gallery in the crossing stars huge okay this basically means that in the character menu uh you're going to be able to actually see uh every single one of the characters that you've unlocked as well as when they uh you know you want to actually unlock them and that's super good right you want to be able to have uh stuff like this so you know you can track uh like it's cool like you know you can see where your characters are you know you can preview uh how many you have it's a very standard feature in honkai star on kitchen impact great that they have it here new story dialogue and gallery feature after version 1.1 update you can check all dialogue completed main quests and companion stories inside the gallery main story huge dialogue dialogue uh you know archives are super big especially when you know you have dialogue skip in this game because you know if you skip the dialogue it's always going to be great that you can go back and actually reference it so this is huge level requirements lowered for some of the main quests so this is you know very easy to summarize uh, you know act four through five and six uh, had a little bit of a too high of a level requirement i'd say uh and you know it makes sense because they want you to actually go explore the map check out some pieces of the game where you can actually you know do the part of the game that isn't story and that makes a lot of sense uh but you know they're like hey uh just get them through it anyway don't make them wait uh so that's super good i like that a lot uh you know i i never had an issue with leveling because i just pre-leveled myself basically uh you know but obviously like it's a smooth experience to be able to go from quest to quest uh without dealing with any uh leveling requirements right uh more types of uh more number and types of daily activity quests got it so we've heard your feedback about the daily activities so in version 1.1 we're gonna make uh more quests good absolutely good i think the current lineup is pretty reasonable although i will say you are kind of forced to do the daily quest and i don't like how those daily quests don't actually drop uh any items or like echoes right i think that's very silly right i don't think uh you know it's gonna kill the game uh you know if you give us a little bit of loot uh when we do a daily like mob clear or something right and then there's like the daily dialogue class whatever you know if pe if people do that people do that right you know uh hopefully we can get uh, a quest lineup where uh we don't have to do those dialogue quests right because some people just don't like them right and if you want to do them you want to do them right so let's let it be kind of similar to uh honkai star realm other experience optimizations new combat style tags i love this one a lot uh with version 1.1 we're going to be introducing combat style tags that categorize different combat mechanics of different resonators we hope this will help you better understand each resonator's core combat style and this is huge because you know wuthering waves is such a complex game 
uh, you know, not only can your characters, you know, be buffers, right, thanks to the outro skills, but also, you know, they can on field, off field, you know, they can, you know, have great canceling abilities, they can have, you know, great, uh, you know, X factor, right, all kinds of things, right, and so this, look at how many things there are, support, healing, damage dealer, burst damage dealer, you know, deal damage, uh, you know, at some, you know, in a, in a big, in a big hit, you know, I deal basic damage, I deal heavy damage, you know, I have, uh, good damage through my resonance skill i have great damage right uh you know uh great damage through my resonance liberation uh traction no clue no clue what that means uh coordinated attacks is going to be like for more teffy and yinlin uh deceleration resonance liberation all kinds of really really good like you love to see stuff like this so that people can better understand because wuwa has had a pretty good job at helping players understand how the character plays especially with character trials character trials have been so freaking good uh you know in this game and i really do love uh that they do teach you like hey this is how you play these characters you know we're not just gonna make you flounder out there and we're and you know we're rely on like some other thing let's give you a real training dummy and that's larry i love that moving on to uh some more basic uh qlo but still good right uh new chat system style to make chat system easier uh during gameplay use the chat box display we have the height after version 1.1 update yeah uh the chat box covers the entire screen literally why also it's still laggy so like fix that what the heck man uh but good hey always step in the right direction they're telling you hey we're gonna fix it it's gonna take time but we're gonna fix it controller mode and interaction optimization i didn't do camera adjustment setting on the controller mode uh, you cannot invert the horizontal and vertical camera controls and the setting controls huge uh you know a lot of games by standard have inverted controls uh for camera controls uh because some people's brains just work better that way right and so hey standard feature back in let's go Change the controller mode uh shortcut key open chat is now open map uh yeah so they just you know change some keys why do you need open chat you're never going to use that half the time you're going to be playing on your own it's a single player game open the map instead uh enabled key remapping for certain buttons on sony playstation controllers making consistent with the remapping options of Xbox controllers good uh remapping across uh multiple uh you know controllers is super good because sometimes uh you know it's really inconsistent when you end up like you know oh like you know i know this button as like the triangle but you're an xbox player it's like oh i know this button as the you know like the circle button right uh sometimes it can get a little confusing uh so this is good consistency across the game uh you know and if you have, uh you know and last but not least if you have any quite you have any suggestions you know about withering ways you know please leave it in our feedback board. i absolutely agree with this because guys look at this look at all of this all this stuff is you know part of people you know telling them like hey like you know this is a feature that i would really like right for example uh you know a lot of the stuff like you know making sure that events are consistent you know that we remove the silly animation right uh you know like having a layered map you know a standard a now standard feature in like genshin impact and hsr having things like this a quest area tracker because they're so hard to find these are all things oh or even hey the freaking dialogue log hey these are all things you know that people are talking about on social media and putting in the feedback survey and you know not just survey right even like the just you know general feedback stuff and this is super duper good this is the effect that you can have in wuthering waves and why so many people support this game right is because they're recognizing hey let's make sure that a we tell you what's coming in future content right it doesn't even need to be something big it can just be something cute like this right and we're also telling you hey i know you have problems with the game let's do our best to fix it no game right and of course you know not talking about like the bugs of wuthering waves right the general systems right is that no game is going to be perfect right even hsr has like some mini optimizations uh you know that i definitely wish they would fix right but for the most part they usually fix it uh you know they don't usually communicate it too often but you know they still fix it and they're still pretty good at that right and you know withering waves is adopting the most hands-on mentality uh you know with this kind of stuff right they're really showing you hey this is what we're gonna fix it's the feedback that you've been asking for and i really like that and that's why uh you know i really enjoyed reviewing these things just like genshin whenever they actually choose you know to make uh quality of life changes but yeah that's gonna be all from me that's the entire summary of all this stuff you know the drill you know what we do here and i'll see you all next time goodbye